Lynn, good to talk to you. I've talked to so much of the cast. Everyone's amazing. Um, I know for them, their responses have been, they're just so excited that finally everyone can get their hands on Hamilton. They're accessible to see it. How big was that for you? Because not everyone could get to the shows in person. Yeah, and right now nobody can get to any shows. Um, right. So even more proud that we have the opportunity and the luxury to be able to provide two and a half hours of, of theater uh, in this time. Um, but yeah, that I mean, that was a huge uh, part of the reason we decided to film this company uh, while they were all still in the building. Um, accessibility was an enormous issue um, for, it's, it's an enormous issue for Broadway and theater full stop. Period, um, yeah. but it was, it was particularly challenging for us. We, we made the first two rows, $10. Um, and we saw the cheap seats get grabbed up and sold at resale value for crazy prices. And then I get calls from relatives being like, you're charging $2,000. I'm, I'm not charging that. That's not me charging that. Um, and so, you know, a, a big part of uh, the reason we took it upon ourselves to film this company was so that um, we could present that show and a snapshot of what that extremely special company uh, was doing in that moment and give it to everybody and, and take away that brag uh, from your friend who's like, I saw Hamilton with the original company. Like, I <laughs> that brag on July 3rd. Um, I just quickly want to get the progression for you. Obviously, um, this is, you know, a baby of yours. This is something that you've been a part of. This is you've done, you've brought this out for everyone. And, and the cast is so remarkable and so amazing. And um, to see the different backgrounds and the people up there, what was it like in the very beginning? And did you know initially that it would be such a big hit? You have no idea. Um, I knew that it was a lot of story. Uh, when I was reading that book on vacation, uh, just thinking, oh, this is an exciting idea. And I'm not a good enough writer yet to get it all uh, because I knew I'd have to compress time in a real way, in a way I never had before of like, we've got songs where seven years are happening over the course of two verses and two choruses. Like there were skill sets I had to learn to right. do the story justice. Um, and and so it's that thing of, if I get it right, it'll be really special. I'm so far from getting it right. It was a lot of self-directed pressure for many, for years. I mean, six years of work, um, six, seven years. And so um, it was, and, and my hope, because I don't try to hope too big was, well, I think school groups will come. <laughs> if they don't mind uh, a little coarse language, uh, I think social studies teachers will bring their classes. Uh, and I counted on a couple of years of school groups and, and could not have anticipated everything else. Um, I definitely want to touch on the school groups. And like you're saying, a lot of young people, especially with the times we're in now, which is not something new, we've seen this before um, happening and we're fighting for this justice that should just be automatic. When you have young people coming in there, it, I feel like this is something that people need to watch too to get a history lesson in addition to everything else and, and pay attention because a lot of things were not told in school. Yeah, well, listen, yeah, it's, um, well, young people are leading the way in this moment against systemic racism. Um, they're the ones leading the charge and, and thinking big. Uh, and, and it's been so inspiring to see that and heartbreaking and, and all the things that, that, that we're still fighting for these things. Um, the fact that this is a show about a country with beautiful written ideals to which we have fallen short since the moment after those uh, ideals were written down um, is, is something that hits differently now than it did when the show came out in 2015. That's the, that's the crazy thing about the show, seeing lyrics from the show on signs at protests, at Black Lives Matter protests, history has its eyes on you, tomorrow there'll be more of us, um, I'm past patiently waiting. Um, that has been, it's, it's the language of revolution. Um, and and uh, I'm overwhelmed by the fact that the show continues to hit in different ways as, as, as our country progresses. Absolutely, very well said. You know, yeah, you're like, I understand and you get it. And you're also a father as well. So I know you're, you're 
kids have they watched have they have they loved it or they have favorite songs do they run around the house or they're like oh that's just dad <laughs> they know that daddy is the guy on the top of the star <laughs> um and and my 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 oldest has known that for a long time he saw the show for the first time when i did it in puerto rico last year and he said i was very sad when you died but then i made a I, I knew it was pretend. We had a long talk about it being pretend. Um, and he said, and then, but I made funny faces now during that so that I know, like I remind myself it's pretend. Um, and the, the little one is a dancer. So he just, we were watching the screening at home and my shot started and he stopped watching. He just started dancing around the room. It was like, yeah, that's great, daddy, that you're doing that. But I'm more interested in dancing to this beat. I love it. Yeah. They're involved in it. They love it. If you could wrap up Hamilton um, as one thing for you and what it's done for your life, what would you say? Because I know we got to get out of here. I can't even begin to answer that because here's the crazy part. We're, when we work in live theater, we're chefs and we're serving the meal 1,300 seats at a time, as many people can fit in our restaurant on every given night. I think more people will see Hamilton on July 3rd, 4th and, 4th and 5th than the previous five years combined. And I can't begin to wrap my mind around that. Um, so it's certainly changed my life. And it's certainly um, the, one of the greatest uh, things has been watching this incredible company go on to do these incredible things and seeing my friends on TV and film and out in the world and fighting for justice um, is, has been so, uh, has been one of the great joys of my life. And it's still the beginning of a chapter. That's the part, like we're still on the journey.